Hey, what's up guys? Mendel here. Today we're going to talk about mixing bass for my new single. So, have you ever had something like this? Oh yeah, sick. Yeah, I'm going to use this compressor. Oh my god, yeah. Oh, it's going to be thick. Okay, okay. Whoo! Play! <laughs> that sucked, right? Okay, let's dig in. Whoa, 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 whoa. Before we continue, first, the basics. Before you mix bass, you need to have a good source. What's a good source? One, have a good bass player. Two, have a good bass. Three, and here we go. New bass strings, mother So when you got all of that right and the bass player does a killer job, then you can go mixing. So come on in. Okay, so here we are into the project. Uh, this is an upcoming single of mine. And let's take a listen to this part. So, okay, so let's dig a bit into the bass. So for this song, um, I'm probably going to use four bass tracks. Four? Yes, four. Okay, so first we have the DI. To start with it, I just put an R base on that. We're going diving into the mixing stuff a bit later, but hold on, just bear with me. Okay, so let's see what we have here. We have the bass DI. Uh, I already put R base on there to fan it up. Then we have the amp, and this is a cool thing. This is just the standard. VST and break of Cubase. I just put it on there. Didn't touch anything. Look what it does. How cool is that? How cool is that? How cool is that? How cool is how cool is it? You put a plugin on there. You don't do anything, and it does this. Cool. Okay, so then we have uh, the bass that went through the Kemper. While we track, we used my Kemper, and it's uh, the Jump Petrucci and Profile. It's nice and filthy. And then we have my favorite thing on this planet, the Dark Glass plugin. This, this, this is it. This is it. Just... Oh, and before I forget, the bass is done by my awesome buddy, Willem Jan Kederman. This dude. You know how awesome he is? Check, this is Willem. How awesome is that? Okay, so, so all of them together sound like this. So first, what I always do is I EQ uh, some stuff and filter some stuff with the DI. Okay, then I'm gonna filter out all the highs because I just want to have the eye to give it a low end, just a low end. That's all. That's all he's doing. Okay, that's cool. Let's see how it low end. Let's see about this low end. Now I want to check if there's any conflict with the kick in the bass. Sounds fine to me. Okay, then we go to the amp. Okay, so since we already have all the low end from the DI, I'm just gonna filter 
out the stuff I don't need with the amp stuff. Okay, so I'm not sure if I'm going to use the, the Petrucci amp, but let's check it out. If you're like, hey man, what are you doing? I'm trying to find stuff I don't like, just take it out. see okay that's pretty cool that's pretty cool so now here comes the dark glass Uh, maybe there's some nastiness in the middle. I don't know. Dude, I'm I'm telling you, man. Just just li just take a listen, and when I like mute the dark glass and put it on uh, put it on again, just the difference. So sick, so sick. So all of that is going into a bus group, and I'm gonna limit the shit, limit the shit out of it. Uh, let's see, Mendel, why are you limiting? That's very simple. So the bass is quite dynamic; it can be like really a lot of low end, and then maybe some notes are not that low endy. So with the limiter, I'm just like, hey man, you're not getting past this point. So let's listen how it sounds in the mix. So there you go. So, uh, you know, hit subscribe, like the video, hit the bell, and uh, next video, I don't know, maybe we should talk about guitar tones, huh? Okay, see you next time. Cheers.